It's been great. Uh, we're, we're, we're quite spoiled. A lot of us are blown away by um, what's available here to us all. Uh, we're making full use of <coughs> all the different recovery facilities that they have. Um, they make it just uh, quite easy here with everything um, that's available. The pitches are amazing. Uh, the work that goes in um, into the pitches is, you know, kind of blows a lot of the players away. Um, Shawnee and Peter are quite amazed in terms of the the track lawnmowers, the hoovers and the rollers as well. There's a lot of time being spent on how they talking to the groundskeepers how to get the grass the way it is. But uh, yeah, it's a good time. It's a it's a great place, and um, we are uh, we're, we're enjoying our time here. Of course, second pool game now against Romania um, this weekend. You know, I suppose considering the competitive nature of this squad, I'm sure everyone's put their hand up for selection after this weekend again. Yeah, um, you know. You've, we've got a group of players here, a really, really good, strong group who just want to play games. Um, and that kind of competitive side of us is what is driving the standards in training um, and demanding a lot from just your, yourself and from the group around us, you know. And we kind of get confidence from expecting such high standards of each other because we know what everyone's going to bring to the table. And that will just elevate the whole, you know, the, the level of the group in terms of what we can deliver. And um, you know, you 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 play as you train during the week, and you know we we've had some serious sessions out there, and uh, hope you know hopefully that that flows into the, the the weekend. But you're right, everyone wants to put their hand up, but you know you can only feel 23 guys. Um, but you know, the nature of the World Cup is that you've you've got to have a really strong squad between um, injuries, uh, rotating the squad. Um, you know, it depends how long you're here for the competition as well, but just the nature of it, you know, sooner or later everyone's got to be able to step up and that's what we have here. Jamie, um, you, the management have talked about players who like to play, f some play players play better fresh and some prefer to play games in a row. Which one are you? Um, I think if you look at my record, I just like playing. Um, and to be honest, I think most players like playing. Uh, sometimes... Uh, Guys might get knocks or bangs, and and they have to front up, or they might have, you know, depending on the, the the depth, be able to <clears throat> rest or whatever. But you know, you ask any guy, they just want to play, and and you know, that's what I I like to do, and that's what we get paid to do. And Romania this weekend, obviously, um, what are you expecting from them? What have you been focusing on in training this week for Romania? Uh, they're quite an athletic bunch. Um, they've got a lot of experience throughout their team. And we've been looking at them in terms of the, the width they, they add to the game, but also just kind of, uh, what word do I use, kind of the veracity they have around the breakdown and the strength they have there. They also have a very good um, scrum to launch off, which um, we, as a pack, you know, we've been looking at a lot and trying to uh, come up with different strategies possibly to deal with that. and. Um, negate that kind of threat and then use that to our advantage with how we can launch off that. And they've they've kind of been the main areas we, we've been looking at, but they, you know, they have a lot of experience in their squad um, and, and they know well uh, how, to, how to play at this level. Looking ahead to Romania this weekend, are you hoping to play or are the lads jumping up the bit and are you looking forward to the game? Yeah, hopefully, please God, um, get another run. I, I, like, I like to keep going and um, um, obviously, I think Joe said after the after the game the weekend that he might have a few changes. But um, yeah, hopefully I'll, t I'll I'll get another game, whether it be centre or, or wing. Please God. Do you guys in your position look at someone like a tier two team like Romania and lick your lips and think maybe there's a few tries on on the cards here? No, jeez, no, not 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 after um, Japan. I think Japan has scared everyone. Um, we know the Romanians. It's it's going it's going to be a physical game. Like you know, it's going to be. I know I know they're playing tonight against the French, and some fellas are going to have to to back up maybe the weekend on Sunday. But um, it's going to be a big occasion for them as well. Playing playing in Wembley um, against Six Nations champions. So I'm, I'm sure they're going to be up for it. And I don't think it'll be as easy as people are going to say. I don't know where you're a soccer fan, but um, are you looking forward to playing at Wembley? What does it mean to you to play in such a famous stadium? Yeah, yeah, it's it's an unbelievable stadium, you know. So um, some some great history there, and um, hopefully we we can be a part of that the weekend, and hopefully get 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 a win. He must be put a few. I mean, obviously you had those injury problems over the last few years. You know, what does it feel like to you know hitting your stride now again, like you showed against Canada? 
Yeah, it's, it has been great. I, I've been on, on a run now since yeah. since January, you know, so it's been great to have nine months under my belt, you know, obviously a couple of weeks off during the summer, but um, yeah, it's, it's been great. It just takes a lot, a, lot of, a lot of stuff off your mind when you're injured, you have time to think and stuff, and at least when you're in and you're fit, you, you're in a routine and you're enjoying what you're doing. Okay. Um, first two games against Canada and Romania, does that give you some sort of uh, a way in, that's a, an easing in uh, to the, the big games, of course, against Italy and France? And also, does it help the squad gel a little bit, perhaps, to know that you've got these slightly easier pitches that perhaps you haven't got to worry as much about the start? I don't think there was any easy in against Canada. I was, <laughs> I fair. I'm still, I'm still a bit sore from it. Um, it's, qu it's quite a physical game, and the Romanians are going to be the same. And I think we just concentrate, concentrate on ourselves. It's, it's all about us, and um, we know if we get our game plan right, and um, wh whatever we put today, put the, on paper this week, and and try and rip it on on Sunday, you know, and um, th that's the main focus for us now. It, I don't think there's any easing in the World Cups. You you can you can't afford to do that. Huge Irish sport at the Millennium Stadium last weekend. Huge Irish sport expected at Wembley this weekend. Um, what's that been like, and what should the Irish fans expect from Ireland this weekend? Yeah, it's, it's been phenomenal. I said, I said after the game to some of the lads, we might as well have been playing in Aviva Stadium the weekend. It was it was absolutely phenomenal, and um, I think if we can take a positive out of recession as the Irish go on and wherever we are, even New Zealand four years ago. There was Irish everywhere, and um, you know they're great for us. It's it's unbelievable when you're out there, and like you just see a, a sea of green. It, it kind of gives you an extra lift. So um, yeah, they, they play a big part for us. So um, and hof hopefully we can get a good result from.